Tracy Show. Okay, Chief. I'll get on it right away. Dick Tracy calling Joe Jitsu. Calling Joe Jitsu in Paris. Go ahead, please. There's a million dollar shipment of gold leaving on the Casbah Express. Sketch Paris and the Mole were spotted at the train station. We've been asked to protect the gold from possible hijacking attempt. Oh, yeah. Bad eggs, those two. But Joe will scramble them. Oh, you bet. Good, Joe. Six, two, and even. Over and out. Uh, so, Depot de Chucho de Paris. English translation, Paris Railroad Station. Oh, yeah, this must be press. Now, must rotate Casbah Express. Nom de plume. Look, it's Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, uh, yeah, that cop could put the cap on our caper. Quick, we must hide. Hmm, gumshoe relaxing for gumshoe on a wrong trip. <laughs> Now all set. Have gum, we'll travel. <laughs> That's a TV joke. He's heading for the Cosby Express, Paris. Wonder what he's doing here. It can only be that Tracy has sent him to spy upon us. Cosby Express. Good sign. No sign of bad X. He's at the gate. Now I will cut him down to size. Oh, pretty sharp. But don't need back scratcher to know who is behind this. Too bad for them, they miss. Ho oh, ho, he thinks he have give us the slip, but his slip will be showing. On the moon, the comes by express. Master Mole, we must uncouple the gold car. Also, must give helping hand to visitors. Welcome aboard and sayonara. Parting are such sweet and sour. Yahoo! Of course. So we must dispose of Jojitsu to sweep. Let's go. Dick Tracy calling Jojitsu. Calling Jojitsu. Jojitsu to Dick Tracy. Go ahead, please. How are things going, Joe? Have you encountered the mole and Sketch Paris? I'm happy to report everything rosy. Encountered crooks and they made sudden departure. When last seen, we're heading south like Chattanoodle Choo Choo. Good work, Joe. Is like all problems say, Mr. Tracy, outlook only dark when in tunnel. When come out, everything brighter. Okay, Jitsu, hands up. One hand up, plenty. Joe's still here. You were saying you wouldn't have any more trouble from those crooks. What happened? Crook make a last attempt to catch honor of the detective off guard. However, Joe put stop to save. Good work, Joe. As another old proverb say, if at first you don't succeed, boy, you better give up. Sayonara! <laughs> Dick 
Tracy Show. Okay, Chief. I'll get on it right away. Dick Tracy calling Hemlock Holmes. Calling Hemlock Holmes. Go ahead, Tracy. Hemlock, we just got a report that Stooge Villa and Mumbles have broken out of prison and are somewhere in this area. Find them. Be sure and take the retouchables with you because Stooge and Mumbles are armed and dangerous. Right out, Tracy. Call in the retouchables. Come in, retouchables. I say confound it, come in. By Jove, there's going to be a shake-up on the floor. What? Wait. Why, well, they're not here. Hemlock Holmes calling Dick Tracy. Go ahead, Hemlock. Well, now, I don't like being a tattletale, Tracy, but the retouchables are goofing off on the job. And besides that, they left their room a mess. Excuse me, Hemlock, my phone. Now get this, Tracy. Trace this call, Hemlock. It's Stooge Villa. We just pulled a little keeper that'll knock your hat off. We kidnapped the retouchables. How do I know you're not lying? Here, Goof Squad, say something to your boss. Help! Now, ain't that a touching sound, Tracy? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting to that, Mumbles. Get this, copper. The ransom is 50 G's. Leave it at Rocky Road and Lumpy Lane before midnight, or we'll knock them off. Did you trace that call, Hemlock? Yeah, Tracy. The call came from an old shack on top of old Smoggy. Go get them, Hemlock. Okay, Tracy. They can't horse with the finest cop on the floor. <laughs> If they don't show up at midnight, we knock them off. Well, bless your black heart. What an idea. We'll collect the ransom and wipe them out anyway. Excellent. <laughs> Just you wait till Hemlock Holmes hears of this. Hemlock Holmes? Don't make me laugh. I'll buzz down at the crossroads and see if Tracy's left the loot yet. Nobody leave this room! Take Tracy calling Hemlock Holmes. Go, 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 go ahead, Tracy. Can you talk? Are you alone? I'm all alone, but I don't have too much time for talking. Glad you're on top of the situation. Hold on, I'll be there soon. Hold on! Yes, sir. Six, two, and even. Over and... <laughs> It's past midnight, and Tracy hasn't shown with a dough. I'm depressed. Oh. Yeah, that's right. We'll wipe them out. Play our favorite tune. Chopping with a chopper, cha-cha-cha. It'll cheer us both up. Music, maestro. A one, and a two, and a... Stop the music! Come on, get him up, you two. You heard him. Get him up. candle. I got him too. Light the candle, Hemlock. All right, you two, into the squad car. Boy, with you here, Tracy, it sure is a load off my mind. You did a good job on this case, Hemlock. But where are the retouchables? Boy, Joe, where are the retouchables? Here we are, sir, waiting in the car. Yeah, we've been here all the time. <laughs> Gee, Tracy, do you think it was worth it? Mm, I wonder, Hemlock. I wonder. Dick 
Tracy Show. Okay, Chief. I'll get on it right away. Nick Tracy calling Go Go Gomez. Calling Go Go Gomez. Go ahead, Senor Tracy. Go Go, we have a tip that the Brow and Oodles are out to rig the big sweepstakes race at El Humidor. Get over to the track and investigate the situation. Be careful. Both men are armed and dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Oodles, shake a leg. Wow, he clocked the fastest furlong ever run. He'll win the big race today. That nag can really move. We'd better be ready to move if they wise up to us. Don't worry. We'll cop the hundred grand sweepstakes prize and blow. <laughs> Shh. It's Go Go Gomez, and he's coming fast. What can we do for you, Flatfoot? Ah, Senor Brow, I hear you have the fastest horse in all El Humidor. Yeah, Shorty. We're taking the big dough today. Like to place a bet? See, si, maybe. But first, I would like to see the horse, no? Sure, Copper. In the stable. I don't see no horse. Just pull that rope. It opens his stall. Dick Tracy calling Go Go Gomez. Come in, Senor Tracy, I read you. Have you discovered anything, Go Go? I have a hunch, Senor. I am about to pull some strings and give it a tumble. Be careful, Go Go. Those crooks may try to deal you a knockout blow. I think I have too much savvy for them, Senor Tracy. Good. I'm leaving at once to join you. Ah, now, Senor Horse. I will open your stall and have a look at you. <laughs> I can still pitch a mean horseshoe. Now run our nag down to the track, Oodles. Yeah, yeah, bro. Come on, boy. Caramba! That horse is an ostrich disguised like a horse. You know something? An ostrich cannot run any horse. Ay -ay! So this is the crooked scheme to win the big race, eh? But Gogo -Go can outrun any ostrich. I've got you covered, Gogo. -Go. I'll get rid of you till the race is over. Oh me! This is a ooh, sticky situation. Oh, how am I ooh, going to stop the, the race? Ah! Ow! Ow! Roll it, pal. We've got the fastest nag, and it's in the bag. They're off! And it's Thunderbolt in the lead on the outside. He looks like a sure winner of the $100,000 sweepstakes. Hold in the name of the law! Caper's gone kaput. I'd better scram. Halt in the name of the law. Try and stop me. Okay. You asked for it. A fine piece of police work, Gogo. -Go. How did you manage to keep them from winning the race? Well, Senor Tracy, when I discovered they have an ostrich, the rest was easy. I remember, when an ostrich is scared, he always sticks his head in a hole. Like this. Adios, I think. <laughs>